even driving a car, like, it's not like if you're going somewhere as a family, like, you might discuss where you're going, the route to take, the number of stops on the way. These are not decisions that the driver Things takes that we by are bringing themselves. There, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not one thing. Like, um, I believe that leadership, sh leadership is there in a, in a couple. Like, we don't mean that there is no leadership. Like, there, there are going to be some stuff where I'm going to be like, oh, no, this is Corey's stuff, right? right? Or you're going to say, this is more my thing where you're going to be like, I'm not going to be questioning much. Yeah. The kind of decision that she's taking, it's like, I can take the leadership in some stuff. You can take the leadership in some stuff. Sure. Sometimes no one is taking the leadership. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we don't want to do it. Because <laughs> no one want to take the leadership or, or we don't know how to take that leadership. Yeah. Hi and welcome to the Feminist Family. Well, I'm I'm Corey and and this is Pamela. Uh, if you are new here, uh, thank you very much for joining us. We are the Feminist Family. Um, we invite you to go check what we have already uh, used. Yeah. And uh, we are back since um, a long moment, uh, but check uh, the recent episode. Yep, that's that right. It's pretty new, right before the end of the year. And yep. happy new year because uh, we are recording on January 1st. Yeah. Uh, if that doesn't show the how committed <laughs> we are. <laughs> We're taking uh, our New Year's Day. <laughs> yes, exactly. We decided that we're going to try to take this uh, pretty seriously. And yeah. Yeah. So what are we talking about? And in case you didn't know, we are a couple. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't evident yeah um so so what are we talking about oh um today uh we were going to talk about lgbtq plus okay but right um it's good that we we come back with the comments that we uh we got yep um with our recent uh so, yeah. um, we were talking about like uh, the fact that in our family we don't have a head. Uh, there is no one that is like the head of the household. The, yeah, the how do you say the decider yeah. <laughs> uh, per se. And um, yes, we got uh, many comments. Thank you very much uh, for those who reach out. Which are reached out to us through our social media. Mostly to you. I didn't see much. Oh, I got <laughs> many comments, yeah, my good. friends. <laughs> and they love you. Well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they love you so much. And uh, I got like uh, some friends who are like, uh, no, um, I want uh, for 2024, I wish to, to have a curry <laughs> as wow. well. And uh, we talked about this. You know, we should be giving some. Uh, Courses. Yeah. I think that you should take that pretty seriously because um, I think that the world deserves more Corey, <laughs> more men like Corey. <laughs> well, I uh, I wouldn't even know where to start, honestly, like what topics to talk about or anything. So I don't know. Maybe if there's some kind of topic list I could come up with. Mm -hmm. But. I would suggest, and uh, for uh, what comes like uh, from the discussions with my friend, it's about like um, uh, unlearning the toxic masculinity mm. and um, and uh, becoming uh, more uh, feminist. Yeah. Uh, in the way I mean, of I... living in everyday <laughs> life. Yeah. Right. I don't want to take too much credit. Like I haven't uh, defeated my toxic masculinity <laughs> tendencies. Like. That's a whole lifetime of ingrained ideas that I'm still working with. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that my friends would admit that uh, someone who's able to um, handle me <laughs> needs to be... <laughs> You're a delight. I don't find it difficult. There's nothing to handle. You're a wonderful partner. Thank you very much. You are as well. So one of the comments that came uh, was like... Um, um, it's not that evident, like, uh, how, uh, we live without having a head, uh, okay. of the family. There is, um, this friend, um, 
I think I have the comments. Okay. Uh, better find it. So uh, it's on my Twitter. She said, I'm not convinced, but uh, in somehow uh, one of uh, you must lead the family, as he said. He doesn't have right to force you. And I agree, like a driver to a car. Otherwise, you will go everywhere without directions. And in the family, a couple, should we consider a couple like a, um, as a, uh, as a, like the family as a car that needs a person to be on the. I do not appreciate, I do not like the analogy. I appreciate the comment, but I do not l agree with the analogy. I think that, uh, a family isn't a car. There is no one person who's driving it. We are a community, a very small community, and we make the decisions as well as we can together. Mm -hmm. Um, like we were talking before, when we disagree, we discuss our disagreements. We make points one way or the other. Mm -hmm. And if you make a good point, then I may have to compromise. Or if I make a good point, then you may have to compromise. And sometimes things can be an ongoing discussion for many years. If it's a bigger decision that you can, you, you know, you can say, well, we're not ready to do this yet, or we have agreed that this is not the moment for this. Mm -hmm. So we, we, can put it on the back burner for another day or what have you. But uh, at no point is one person saying, I'm the one making this decision. Mm -hmm. I find it to be uh, very frustrating, um, this belief um, that um, we would have like a head um, of the family and that the head uh, needs absolutely to be a man. Because um, first of all, like, I believe that unless it's something that really um, concern, like we're gonna put the beep because YouTube doesn't like this word apparently. Okay, um, I didn't know that. <laughs> we don't want any issue with YouTube or any platform. But um, unless it's about like a, a sexual intercourse, like why would the penis have to count on? in a decision where it has nothing to do with no. it. Like, it can be money, okay? Um, we agree that um, it's, uh, it's not uncommon, right? That men are earning more than yeah, women in a family yeah. for m m various, uh, you know. Yeah, for a variety of reasons, yeah. Yes. Most, um, yeah. So We could get into it, I guess, if we wanted to. <laughs> yes. Uh, when it's about money, then... Um, should we, should the man get, gain, like, the right to, uh, decide on any, f everything financial based on the fact that he's, first of all, and mostly a man, and secondly, he's the one who is earning more? Well, I don't think so. I mean, uh, first of all, I think that it's a f logical fallacy to say that because one has more money, that makes them better at making decisions. That's, I don't know. I think it's clearly nonsense, but also genitalia doesn't do that either, right? Like that's clearly nonsense. So, mm -hmm. so well, by what criteria would you make one person a head, the head of the household? Well, you can't because assuming that you're both on equal footing, then you have to be able to communicate with each other mm -hmm. and come to mutually agreeable decisions. Yes. And that, that might mean that somebody, like I say, somebody has to compromise. And so, so, but that's still a, an agreeable decision, right? But you don't compromise because you are um, female. No, no, that's right. Like you don't like, get, I don't get to say because I'm the man. So therefore this is the rule. So, I feel uh, really offended. And I, I believe that's some of the uh, things where like uh, it could not work with my ex. <laughs> <laughs> it's that belief that uh, because he's a man, then he gonna decide. Like the mm. day he used the word like a veto, I have the veto. Like I have mm. the last decision because I am a man. It's absurd. I felt so offended. It's absurd. I was like, uh, why? Because uh, because you're a man. What gives you that superiority on me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> is it what you're doing in the family? Is it like a uh, what? Wh who told you? Who taught you that? That it's okay. Well, I mean, 
to that's, depending on your culture and your society that you grew up in that's going to be i mean in most cultures are patriarchal in this way right yeah so there is a lot of men a lot of men who believe that that's the way it is why though is it because they don't question it because oh well, sure i think that is something they don't, yeah sure it's something that uh that was really bothering me since i was really a kid and um and it's not like uh, I'm saying like uh, it's disrespecting um, a man or uh, diminishing him or uh, it doesn't make sense. Like in my brain, um, it doesn't make sense that yeah. someone, because of his gender, got a, a final say yeah. on something that concerned the whole family. Well, and it's it's like I said when we were upstairs, like... If I have to resort mm -hmm. to vetoing because I'm a man, then I didn't have a good argument for my point. Then I could not convince you of my position. And if I can't convince you of my position, then maybe it's not worthy of being the decision that's made. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, so, so am I going to make a bad decision because I'm a man and I've decided that that's how, how we decide things? Yeah, <laughs> it's a lack of argument. Actually, it's um. So you 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 don't have anything to put on the table to uh yeah to you know to um so that you can convince me exactly. And you don't want to take the time to think about it. Yeah, that's being lazy. Yep, that's being lazy. I think that yeah. you don't want to take the time to think to listen to me yeah. to listen to my arguments because. Me, as a woman, like I'm just trying to uh, bring on the table arguments based on, you know, we're talking about the same thing. We're talking about the, our family, right? It's not like I'm talking about something happening outside that form. Yeah. And I believe like as a woman, you have, you have a huge role, like even in the, you know, putting kids on earth, like you, you already showing that you can do so many things, mm -hmm. like you can handle so many things. And when it's about deciding, like you are being told that you are a woman. So <laughs> me as a man, not because I showed any other leadership or not because I showed like a, any, right. no maturity, no intellectual no, rigor. No, no. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing. Just because I'm a man. I'm a man. I found it very like a, it's so primitive. It's pretty primitive. Like, I think that you don't need even to be a feminist. No, to, I, I think that's fair. To, uh, to question that, you know. It just seems like nonsense. To yourself. And you, you look at your wife and you're like, why would I have the final decision on her on a matter based on the only thing that I'm a man? Yeah. No, it doesn't make any like sense. Like, you are looking at the person that you love, that you choose, like, to make your life with, that you want her to help you build, like, you know, your life. And yeah. you decide that she's here and you are here. And not because you, you, you are bringing experience, not because you went and actually did researches and came up with, you know, a logical um thing you know to co try to convince her yeah no because you're a man <laughs> uh-huh no I, I i don't know you don't need to be a feminist i i agree it's just nonsense <laughs> <laughs> it's just lazy it's just lazy thinking and uh i know that is something that you know um I would feel bad, you know, uh, as a, as a mother, uh, going to, um, bring the decision taken by the man to my kids, you know, something that can impact the whole family. It's because your dad decided. Hmm. A terrible reason. Because he's a man. I, yeah, I. So you have boys, you have girls, and what are you telling them exactly? Like, how do you explain that? You're telling them to reinforce, you're reinforcing the patriarchal roles that you're already living in. That's right. Th no, that's, that's not fair. It's not fair. And, um, and I can understand if you no know, one person has never, you know, asked themselves this question, but 
we need to question. I, I believe that we need to question yeah. this. Like, uh, Absolutely. Um, these images that um, we are given, you know, uh, we're talking about the head, mm -hmm. right? I never saw any body walking by itself and in the street without a head. And when I'm going to the marriage, it's, I'm not seeing like a body without a head finally getting a head to be completed. Mm. As, cause what, that's what they say that when you, when you are getting married, you become one. That's what they teach. From now on, it's not only you and you. So from now on, because you are married, you became one. Okay. But and even if from you, that image, yeah. that's what they're going to be saying. There is a head. There is a heart. There is, since no why, one ever saw a, a head by itself why is, walking, yeah. why that image still there? I don't like, know. Why is, the, why is the metaphor not two halves of a whole? Why is it a head and a body? Why is it not two halves that are now one? Like, sure, maybe, yeah, I don't mind, you know, being a we or being an us mm -hmm. as one team. But why, why would, I don't know. Maybe because it I, comes I, from I don't the think Bible, in, I don't think I in guess. hierarchical ways. So it's hard for me to wrap my head around like placing somebody up at the top of the household and being like. Either it's something that that is coming from the you know um, religion, religious yeah, belief, there's, there's or, a lot of that. but I, I believe it's something to question, right? For As sure. you say, um, it can be. You know, we can think that it's one thing and one thing when they are together, they form. A bigger whole, sure. right? So yeah. one person, another person, they come and they make one big whole. Yeah. Okay, this my brain understand it. Like <laughs> anyone can understand it, yeah. right? The marriage, but the head. <laughs> whoever saw a head walking by itself? Yeah, no. Like whoever saw a heart beating by itself? Like you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess, uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to get technical, so I would heart be just, to beat uh, by itself and a brain can sit there with electrodes in it and it can... <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like, um, even, even going back, like, to that uh, um, analogy, like, uh, saying, like, it's a family is, like, a, in a car and someone is driving, so he's the leader. But you're driving, like... Do you have more power because you are you have the wheel? If I'm on your side and we discuss, well, but where are we going? Like, like if we're gonna if we're gonna talk about it that way, like so. This weekend we had a whole trip out to the various stores planned, and I had it in my head a certain way of doing it, and you thought of a different way, but we didn't argue about it. We just did it my way, mm -hmm. and it turned out it was a bad idea. So why? Oh yeah, it was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> so why would we always do the thing that I like? Shouldn't we should have discussed it more? We should have been like, yeah. you know, we should have come to a different conclusion because clearly, me just making the decision on my own didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and and that was just a part of um, it's like that. That was just a discussion of what ten minutes in a day. Yeah, yeah, not even. Like in in a day from, you know, the morning till the evening, like there are so many decisions that are taken in a family, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, there are so many things that are done. Like and some things you're going to do. How that image of someone on a wheel in a, in a car driving the whole family and that they need to be one person who's on the wheel, what, like in a day there are so many things than driving. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like in the car, if we were all in the car, it's like there will be so many other things happening. Yeah. Um, they say that you are on the wheel and while you are driving, I'm dealing with your finances. We're going to say what? That we have one leader in our family? <laughs> right. Because you're driving? Like, even that analogy, it doesn't, when you try to it's so limited in, yeah. you're like, it doesn't work. Yeah. Because there's so many things that, like you say, like it, it, there's so many things that are more complicated than even driving a car. Like it's not like if you're going somewhere as a family, like you might discuss where you're going, the route to take, the number of stops on the way, 
These are not decisions that the driver Things takes by themselves. Things that we are bringing themselves. there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not one thing. Like, um, I believe that leadership, sh leadership is there in a, in a couple. Like, we don't mean that there is no leadership. Like, there, there going to be some stuff where I'm going to be like, oh, no, this is Corey's stuff, right? right? Or you're going to say, this is more my thing where you're going to be like, I'm not going to be questioning much. Yeah. The kind of decisions that she's taking, it's like, it, I can take the leadership in some stuff. You can take the leadership in some stuff. Sure. Sometimes no one is taking the leadership. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we don't want to do it. Because <laughs> no one want to take the leadership or, or we don't know how to take that leadership. Yeah. But it's not, it's, it's never based on the gender. Yeah, no. There is nothing that is based on the gender that that's gonna find leadership in yeah and like you say like even still no matter what it's never based on just one of us deciding that this is how it is and that's just the way it is it's always like for any major decision it's going to be a discussion and for any like anything less than that that affects everybody then we're going to probably have a shorter talk and like sometimes it'll just be do you want to do this yes mm -hmm. the end Right, like, <laughs> but but sometimes but it's, no, it's never based on no your gender no, like even things to do in the house, right? Yeah. Maybe sometimes I, when I discuss with my friend, they were like, "Oh no, Pam, it's because like uh, you know, um, in my life I got uh, many occasions like to be living alone mm. in my apartment or in my house, and so I'm so used to be doing everything." Mm. Right, I can do everything in the house, yeah, like uh, inside and outside, <laughs> yeah. you know, without needing absolutely a man, right? right? Um, I don't consider that there is anything in our in our house where I'm gonna be like, oh no, because I'm a I'm a I'm a woman. No, no, no. Everything that's uh, regarding garbage is curry. <laughs> no, I can say I don't like it. Yeah. You know, I'm too lazy or uh, I can be the kind of person who's going to be piling things up until Corey is like, oh, no, this garbage, we need to take it out. <laughs> or, you know, <laughs> I have ADHD. So um, remembering like, uh, the you know, the calendar for... Uh, yeah, for rolling know, the bins out to the corner. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be, it's going to be more you who care more about the garbage, but it's not because you're a man. <laughs> No. I mean, <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> you know, no, it's, it seems like, like I can say, like, I think the division of labor is one of strengths and weaknesses. Like certain people have certain strengths and certain people have certain weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So like, if I happen to be good for remembering to do the dishes, mm -hmm. then that's what I'm going to do. Mm hmm. And that's just, it has nothing to do with gender at all. But this is, this is again too, like I think it speaks to the idea that like people believe that men and women's brains are different. And that's that, something. That, that is counts. a thing that they've, yeah. What do you think about that? I think it's nonsense. Yeah, right? <laughs> people have. <laughs> I find many times to, be, to feel like a man and I'm like. <laughs> I mean. It's. it's too stereotype, like yeah, that's right. Like, of course, there's different hormone levels and different brain chemistry that happens to men and to women and and to non-binary individuals and and various things, right? Mm -hmm. People experience the world in different ways, and sometimes that is along sex-based uh, uh, avenues, I guess. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't actually mean your brains are different than my ours. Like my brain is not that different from yours. Not when it's about the kitchen or anything, cooking anything. or uh, taking care of the kids or uh, I think that so much of it is it's okay to be a woman who doesn't like to cook. Sure, it's okay to be a woman who doesn't know how to cook. It's okay to be a man who doesn't like to cook or uh, doesn't know even how to cook. But yep. it's. If you want to learn, you know, you yeah, can learn. And right. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. But I don't think it's based or you should be judged in that area based on your gender. Yeah. Right. And it's something that I see many, many times. Like, uh, 
judgment like that and um um when people are talking like uh, saying okay um where i come from that's something that's pretty usual like uh, as a girl you better be learning okay girls nowadays uh they only know how to stay on the phone uh they don't wanna <laughs> they don't wanna learn how to cook they don't wanna always. learn how to wash the clothes they don't wanna learn how to clean the house uh therefore they won't find like a man or if men quit them always sounds it's like just a proof it's because just always sounds to me like people complaining <laughs> oh Kids these days, you know, they just don't do the things that they should be doing, you know, eh? and get over it. What would it. you say if you have a friend, uh, love, what What would you say if you have a friend and he's like, no, clearly, like, uh, my wife, I'm about to quit her, like, uh, no, what kind of wife do I have? She doesn't know how to cook. Yeah. Uh, I have to clean myself. I have to, what would you tell? Sure, quit her. Let, her. let her be on her own. If that's what, you know, if that's the wor world you expect, then she and you should not be together. Yeah. <laughs> Fire her. The same way you, you hire someone who come to clean at the house and you're like, uh, you know, you don't know how to clean. You don't know how to cook. Wh why have I hired you? <laughs> like, I just, like the thing, the idea that your wife is your employee, is that what it is? That's like, what, that that's what it is, right? Like to me... She's probably better off, you know, being <laughs> separated from a guy who expects who, nonsense. Exactly. So. Exactly. And that's what, you know, uh, I always say that sometimes in some situation, I'm like, I advise really people to get separated. Like yeah, if, for sure. If, if, if a partner, like a, if, if a friend of mine is coming to say those kind of things, I believe that's what I would tell to like a. I'll be like, uh, okay, if that's why you are with that person, if you then are with that person, person because with. you are looking for uh, <laughs> someone to to clean for you, to cook for you, then uh, hire someone else, right? Yeah, that's right. Make it make sense, but don't pretend to love that person, right? No. Don't make, don't lose her time or his time and uh, on the nonsense making kids on when yeah. you don't make kids to the people you hire to clean your house, right? Nope. So if that's the only thing you've got going for you. You don't pretend <laughs> to go on dates with someone you hired for the sake of coming to cook for you. No. Right? Yeah. No, it's nonsense. It's you creating that confusion. So if that's what she represents for you or he represents for you, then quit. Yeah. That's right. I don't have much else to say. I don't hope that the person who commented didn't feel doesn't feel like we piled on. Uh, we just disagree. <laughs> yes, and um, for people listening or, uh, or uh, you know, watching, like, uh, tell us what you think. This is how we view. <laughs> um, Although family it would take it would take some pretty astonishing arguments to make me change my perspective on this. Like you would have to have some mountains of evidence that okay. I'm wrong. <laughs> One thing that you know for sure is that I would feel pretty uh insulted if one day you come and say okay pam for this decision <laughs> i'm the man so i'm, I'm gonna the do man. it <laughs> this is how we're gonna do i'm gonna decide imagine. i'm the man what a nonsense i'm gonna be you. like you're the man then what it's just absurd <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs> It's just nonsense. Yeah. So, um, I don't know how long that we've been uh, talking. About a half hour. We can talk about the um, uh, LGBTQ okay. class. I'm so pissed off, okay. as you know. <laughs> I'm so pissed off of, you know, what's happening like uh, in um, some African countries where uh, um, it's like a, a new, um, like a... Um, a new wind, you know, we, we've got like a, the, the wind of, uh, um, colonization, like wind of, uh, wind, 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 the wind, the wind, the, wind? the like wind that blows across the, yeah, okay. something came on Africa and was blowing on Africa and then we got colonized <laughs> and then the, something came and was blowing on Africa and we got, we regained our independence. Something blow again and we started to talk about democracy, right? 
and something is blowing right now <laughs> about uh, kill the homosexuals. Yeah, that's fucked up. And <laughs> it's, it doesn't it's matter. It's blowing <laughs> like a, on, on, it's like a. From now on, you're gonna be talking about it. So it wasn't an issue, but now it's becoming an issue, and people are being targeted. People are being um, killed. People are being obliged to flee their countries because they are homosexuals, because they are lesbian. Like in Uganda, so, they voted um, oh, yeah. like uh, the um, the anti-homosexuality uh, yeah. bill that some activists are now uh, trying to, you know, fighting uh, to the court. I hope that they got a succeed <laughs> on that. And now we have in Burundi our president, yeah. like uh, on uh, when he was wishing, like uh, he he was, I think that uh, he was uh, responding to um, public questions, like uh, on national televisions and radio, like uh, even on internet. Yeah. And he's like, um, um, we should put the homosexuals like uh, in the stadium and uh, be throwing like a. St- be stoning them like a, and awful. I'm like, where are you coming from with that idea? Like, yeah, I, I, it's 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 frustrating because some of the rhetoric is that uh, acceptance of the LGBT community is colonization or part of neo colonization mm-hmm. when literally the religious practice of homophobia is part and parcel of the colonizing project, right? Like. And actually, many countries have had ministries come over from North America preaching hate against the LGBT community. You find the same arguments in the U.S. and in Africa. Because, because the same organizations, the same think tanks, the same assholes are going, sending preachers from Canada and the United States over to African countries. They are exporting hate. From North America and Europe. Yeah. And then people in Africa or in African countries are, are somehow falling for the rhetoric and believing that this is, it's the opposite of what it is. Can you believe that some people are believing in that, mm. but fighting homosexuality saying that it's about African values? Mm. It's just something blowing on the continent, the same way that things were coming from outside. Like I tried it's, my at, best. at the age of internet, yeah. I'm so shocked <laughs> to see people, you're on Twitter, that, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you like this is something that was there, you know, something that we were seeing like okay, we live in Canada and uh, you know, something is happening in Canada uh, in the US. Yeah. You can expect that after a few years it's going to happen in a, in a, in Canada. Is the same topic, like same arguments and yeah. leaders of that anti homosexuality is like that are in the US are being now followed from Africa. And I'm like, someone yeah. who's in Uganda and citing, like, a, I'm like, yeah, there's a son, yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> That's in the name of African values, you sit, you're citing, like. Somebody who actively thinks that African people are less capable of thinking than white people. That's what he thinks. He actively believes that people of African descent are less intelligent than white people. Yes. And you're going to follow him because he says the same hateful shit that you want him want to say. It's fucking absurd. I cannot believe I, it that. It makes me like, so mad. I cannot believe that. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Okay. So one of um, the comments that I'm going to be having, like uh, uh, on uh, on Twitter especially, is would you be happy if uh, your kid yes. was homosexual? <laughs> would you be happy if one of your kids yes. was homosexual? The end. Yes. Fine. They are who they are and I love them. That's it. Like, go for <laughs> I'm like, Go fuck what kind yourself. of question is that? <laughs> no, actually, I wouldn't be happy if my kid was homosexual. Not because they are homosexuals, mm. but because of the stigma that comes with it. Because I know too much the kind of oppression that my kid will, will have to right. navigate through. Yeah, it's... it's you know? but it's Because this word is not fair. Like you say. For a... Man, but my kid, I wouldn't you don't see take my it out kid on them. as a, you, don't, you know, it's not yeah. a disability. It's not like yeah. a, 
What do you mean? Would I be happy if uh, my girl was a lesbian? Like, would I be happy? I'm like, I would be perfectly. Ca- I would be as happy as if they weren't. I would. <laughs> no, I'm happy that they're happy? a healthy, happy person. Yeah, exactly. They get f- to live their lives and love who they want to love. Exactly. Like, their gender doesn't make me happy or sad. Yeah. They are, like their sexual orientation is not something that creates sadness yeah. or happiness in me. Like that, I'm not going to have sexual sex <laughs> with them. Like what what are you talking about? No, like, exactly. Yeah. I'm the, not th- intru- the thing that the thing that I find that would make me happy, like I say, it's if they can accept themselves, if they can be who they want to be, if they can love who they want to love and feel comfortable in their own skin doing that. Yeah. That's what I would, that would, uh, that would make me happy. But I would do the same if my daughter wanted to play football. Yep. Or she wanted to sing. Yep. Or she's lesbian. Yep. Or she's non-binary. Like, yep. for me, it's, are you feeling good? Are you happy in you, in your life? Like, yep. that's what makes me happy. Like, what they like as passions, what's their um, uh, interest, intellectual interest. Yep. If they are interested in politics or not, yeah, you know, it's not something that is, I'm not, will I be sad if my daughter come and say that she is pretty much into uh, Christianism? Uh, you know my feelings on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This shit bugs the piss out. Like, it, it bugs me, me no. so much. For me, it's not something that's... Um, I think that's where you and me, like, <laughs> you know, we are not at all on the same page. Because I'm like, was, belief is personal. Belief is personal. But part of the thing that gets me isn't isn't the belief itself. And you know this. Mm-hmm. It's the going to a church where they preach certain things that are against values that I hold and that I don't believe are beneficial to people. Mm-hmm. And so, for example, you... <laughs> if uh, if our our child wants to, or our, one of one of the girls wants to become a Baptist, mm-hmm. like in uh, like on uh, Young Sheldon, yeah, and, and um, or an even like an evangelical Baptist, like though that's a religion that preaches things that I do not agree with, and yes. and so I mean yeah, believe what you want, yeah, yeah. but also. Don't be part of a group that judges people for things. Don't be a bully. <laughs> don't be, don't, don't be, a, bully. be a bully. I think that is the fact of seeing my kids becoming a bully yeah. would make me sad. Yeah, that's right. Either they are bullying homosexuals or bullying uh, Christian, Christians, bullying Muslims, like whatever bully, yeah. kind of bully yeah. my kid would be, that's something that can make me sad. Yeah, that's right. But other than that, like are you believe in jesus i believe in allah i believe we can live together without bullying each other right absolutely we don't need to and i don't believe in any of it so and okay of course we all have to be able to exist you don't you are not comfortable with um uh homosexuality okay don't be don't push it (laughs) don't push it yeah don't don't push don't don't bully homosexuals right right yeah well, it's not your orientation, okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, uh, it's similar to my f- feeling of uh, trouble, like my allergy to Christians. Like, <laughs> sometimes I have to remind you, and I'm like, no, 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 no. This is bullying. You don't, you're bullying. <laughs> because, because, yeah. Like in general, like I have to live day to day, side by side with people that I disagree with mm-hmm. fundamentally, mm-hmm. and I still have to do it, and. That doesn't, so you can do it with people from the LGBT community. Mm -hmm. You can live side by side with them, even if you disagree with who, what is going on there. Too fucking bad. You don't get to tell people who they are. Yeah. (laughs) And don't go and support that they be killed. Yeah. No, that's that's just awful. That's, that's awful. Like that's what's happening. Like, and, and again, again, one person can think that it's okay to call for a group of people to be to be killed well like like the thing is for religious belief put yourself like, in that position are you questioning yourself how like do a, you how do you how would you feel if some other group 
other person was saying that your group was okay to be put into a stadium and stoned to death. Like, get the... Go on. I, you don't uh, get to do that. I follow, like, uh, uh, some activists, like, uh, in the LGBTQ uh, plus in, uh, in uh, Uganda. Mm. And uh, there is um, this one, Stephen, if you ever <laughs> happen to, 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 to watch. Um, he was asking, like, uh, okay, he was asking to someone who was, like, uh, bullying him and um, threatening him mm. also. Be like, uh, uh, like uh, I, I would, I would love like to come and uh, you know, beat you up, like you know. And he's like, why? Because what you are and what you're doing, See, you are sinning. This is where my but yes, I'm sinning. And, I'm and like... then <laughs> you, you come and 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 beat me, or you come and kill me. Like, does that give you like a place in heaven? A special place in heaven because you want. Is there any way? Isn't that one of the like main taught, rules? Like a, isn't that one of the main rules? Thou shalt not kill. Exactly. That's one of the main rules. Like, come on, people. <laughs> Do you? This is your own rules. What part of the Bible tells you like you can go and kill someone because they are homosexuals? And what you may go to jail. You may be arrested yourself. You may find yourself in prison. For what? For killing or beating up some, someone because of their sexual orientation? Like, come on. Yeah. I Come on. I don't, yeah. And, and in the family, because, you know, we talk about like a family. Like, if my kid, like, tomorrow is, uh, is saying, okay, you know what? I want to say that I'm a homosexual. I'm going to be like, okay. I think that I would be more concerned about their security, mm. mm -hmm. right? Because uh, I am aware that we live in a world where, um, you know, these are people who are targeted, you know, uh, not yeah. maybe that much here in Canada, but, you know, we live happens. in the world. You never know where, you know, where the, your, your kid may be. I have, I have friends who have been targeted yeah. by harassment and, yeah. and bullies and, and like... Yeah. It's, it's something that's that's still happening, yeah. right? There's still uh, so many campaign like uh, to um, there are so many rights that are to be gained, right? But I would be more, I would feel more concerned. Like uh, I think that it, I would, I would, I would, I wouldn't consider that as a um, you know, it's not a disease. You know, I would be more sad if my kid comes and say. I ca I'm coming from the doctor, and um, he said that I have cancer. Mm. Mm. You know? Yeah. Like that's a, that would that's make a, me sad. Yeah. Yeah. But, hey, mom, I'm a homosexual. Yeah. It's not sadness. Like, no, it's not a sad thing. It's not. Why? Like, like, okay. like you say, like, it's acceptance and perhaps concern. Concern, yeah, I, I would accept. I would be like, uh, no, that's not even a thing for me, you know. Yeah. Uh, you, your orientation, and you know, if you, if tomorrow you feel like uh, you, you are changing or you are you you feeling different, you know, your sexual orientation, me as your parent, is none of my business. Essentially, because yeah. we were you were saying that last time, you know, yeah. your kids you don't, don't belong to <laughs> yeah. you know, your kids. You are not my. You, I'm not gonna say like a. I invested in you so that I can gain something. You know, it's not like a, a lot raising of my do, kid. Though. A lot of parents do, though. They raising they my kid is not like I'm investing yeah. in them so that I, I need a return. Yeah. You better not. Be. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't need any return on my kids. All I want is yeah. that they grow up <clears throat> and be become who they want to become, right? They are real version of themselves not based on how i want them to be yeah so in that way their or sexual orientation doesn't matter to me at all yeah because first of all like uh, come on we evolving <laughs> like um uh, i'm not gonna say oh i'm deceived because you know you are homosexual oh, too bad i'm not gonna get uh grandkids <laughs> <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm not going to get granddaughters, you know, we have a family to continue and it's on you, my, uh, my daughter, my son. So uh, you need to reproduce yourself so that, so that what? To what end, right? Like for what purpose? 
<clears throat> so that they can be and it, it, like it, the it, thing it, is it has no link my kid can be homosexual yeah and have kids <clears throat> yeah absolutely yeah absolutely <laughs> the same way they can be uh, heterosexual and decide to not have kids yep or would they or they are not able to have kids yeah you know yeah that's right i'm not associating the two like yep exactly <laughs> And uh, frankly, orientation in, and having kids in the modern economy, like more people are making the decision not to have kids as time goes on because nobody can afford to live. So this is, of course, like it's, it's a no decision, pressure. right? Like, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a personal yeah. decision. If my, my kids don't owe me to no. be a grandma. No. Like, yeah. And it's a very strange notion, actually, to think that they do. Right. Like <laughs> that's that what your that's existence a, is. Is predicated on the fact that you are going leave, to give me grandchildren. Yeah, I need to leave a, like a trace on Earth that I was here. So therefore, until the end of the time, they're gonna be like a piece of me on Earth. That's that's what it is, like. I hate to feed anybody's existential angst, but this like a piece of it's me, all like, gonna disappear eventually. None of you of will me? remain. <laughs> At, 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 at the eventually, level of my grandchildren, you is gone. Yeah, at the level of my grandchildren, mm. right? What piece of me is, is, is still there? Well, and then if they have children. I have my ch- children who are going to need some so other you, people to make kids. How well did you know your kids? great-grandmother? Huh? How well did you know your great-grandmother? So your your grandkids have kids. And how, do they know who you are? I don't know who my great-grandmother was. <laughs> Maybe my kids don't know. Or my like, kids I'm, don't know who my grandparents were. Who cares? Like, why people put themselves so much pressure on themselves? Like a yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Cultural norms. Mm. That's not something that's working for me. Like yeah, my kids don't are not my. They have they are complete human being on earth. That um only helping yeah. to grow yeah right yeah i'm helping them to to grow we're responsible I'm not for them investing yeah. in them i'm we're not expecting them, to but we are not we do not own them no they are not ours to control and uh especially as they get older and they become more and more independent right mm. like you don't own your 20 year old you don't own your 25 year old you don't own your 30 year old. <laughs> you don't get to tell them what to do anymore. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's, um, <clears throat> I think that we live in a world that is already so complicated and uh, people need to give some peace. Like, uh, yeah. we should not be complicating life yeah. to that point. <clears throat> like, uh, it brings so much pressure. Like, uh, to imagine that, you know, uh, Imagining that it's only what I'm doing that's going to impact my kids. So only what I'm doing mm. will determine how my grown-up kids will be. I find that is... They, when I was a teenager, <clears throat> they said that by the time your kids are 12, the vast majority of their influence, the things influencing them, are from peers and not from parents. And that's when I was a teenager. I can only imagine what it's like now. Like, it's so much more. It- it's so much more. <clears throat> I think that we, we just, it, it gives me peace to, to, to think that I'm just helping, right? Yeah. I'm helping and um, I'm helping my kids to become who they decide. Who they want to be. Who they want to be. Yeah. And that we love them no matter what. Yeah. Right? right? Either they succeed or fail. And I mean, that's that's part of life, right? That's part of loving people too, right? Like you just, if you love someone, you support them when they fail. You care for them when they need it. Mm -hmm. You do not dominate them. (laughs) Unless that's your kink. But (laughs) that's um, that's a topic that comes with a lot of trauma that I'm unlearning and Mm. healing and, um, and, but I'm, I'm so grateful yeah. to to be growing in that way mm. and uh yeah I I, uh, I find like at this point I'm <clears throat> I can't remember what I was thinking. Oh, I remember. I'm I've been thinking a lot about 
where this uh, this masculine desire for toughness comes from, <clears throat> and and how <clears throat> part of it is uh, a natural <clears throat> sort of desire to protect the people you love. But I think that somewhere along the line, the the signals got crossed. <laughs> And so it became just all about being tough and being fighting and being a certain type of tough instead of coming from a place of caring, of coming from a place of love the way it probably should. Because the whole point is to protect the people who you love that can't protect themselves. <laughs> I don't need to be tough for my own sake. I need to be tough for my children. You need to be tough to handle me. <laughs> That's not even true. <laughs> <laughs> no? No. No. But I don't need to be tough Are and you, on like, my when children. When you see me lifting weights, uh -huh. do you feel like a threatened? <laughs> no, I do not. And I don't mean to laugh because you are very strong and you are very, <laughs> very fit. And, uh, uh, but I, it is funny that I should ever be threatened by you. If I'm threatened, if we're threatened by each other, maybe that's not a good relationship. That's a sign of toxicity <laughs> that is already there, right? Maybe that's if, not if, a good relationship. If, if my partner was uh, was threatened by me lifting weights, thinking that, uh, oh, how will I be able to hit you? See that again, like... Oh, like, like, why do you, you want to hit not, me? Yeah, exactly. In what... Scenario: You and me are fighting physically. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like no, no. There's no. there's no reason for it. Like, generally, there's no reason for physical altercations at all, right? Like, not in, in a what, family. Not in, in what, not not in a family, right? In what way do I need to I, fight somebody? If I'm outside, yeah. In many ways, I would like to. I, I would <laughs> need to beat some. Nasty people, I don't like it, and uh, hopefully I'm not yeah. into that. But depending on you know on your uh, habits, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in... exposed to people I would have to beaten, but I I would be happy if I'm strong. Yeah, <laughs> enough I, to correct is, them. Yeah, well, there's right? there's nothing wrong with being strong just for the yeah. sake of being strong. Yes, but in a, in a in a context like of a family, so. This is this is part of what I was talking about, mm -hmm. right? Like the toughness. Like if I'm supposed like supposedly you're weaker than I am, right? So in what context do I need to be tough? I need to be tough to help protect you. Yeah. I don't need to be tough to you. I don't need to be tough on our children. I need to be tough to protect you from the dangers of the outside world. <laughs> if your kids how would you feel if your kids were afraid of you like i did something wrong right my children they should respect me yeah. right yeah. but they should never be afraid of me yeah i'm not going to do anything i might argue with them yeah i i i i remember mumu at a certain moment like um uh i don't i don't really recall what uh what she did mm. but uh, i was i was pretty mad mm. I was pretty, 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 pretty mad. And then she went to hide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that doesn't feel good, and right? And when I saw that, I was like, oh my God. Maybe I'm too mad. <laughs> okay, um, maybe I need to go outside and, you know, and breathe and calm myself. Because, like, in what situation my kid is afraid? Yeah. Like. No, they should feel... They should feel like you're there to protect them. They yeah. should feel like you're there to care for them. And they should feel like they should, they should feel like they have to listen to you to some degree because they respect your, what you're saying. Yeah. But not based on my muscles. No. And not based on the idea that you might hurt them. Yeah. No. Cause no don't hurt your kids. No. Don't hurt children, please. No. Ah. I what guess. It was nice talking to you. Mm -hmm. So I guess... Everyone listen to <laughs> us until now. Uh, tell us what you think about um, our, you know, yeah. our positions. I know that we are not... I don't feel like I'm in the majority of people. So... <laughs> yeah. I really don't feel that. But I find it okay. And we decide to talk about this because 
the idea is that we love people to question more and uh, maybe join us in the yeah. I in, think uh, promoting, you know, uh, some of our values. Yep. But we are also growing, yep. right? Yep. Uh, we are growing, so don't hesitate to comment and um, yeah, like, tell us what you know, yeah. what you think. I don't want to. I don't want people to feel like we're gonna like, uh, like be bullies if they comment something that we disagree with. I think it's reasonable that we can disagree and mm-hmm. and present our case. And if you still disagree, then then so be it. And uh, yeah, that's yeah. fine. We live in the world, but yeah, like you say, I think I think we're definitely in the minority. Uh, mm-hmm. In as for our, as our values and the way that we express ourselves, and I think that it would be great if we could have more people who joined the feminist join family. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> who, you know, we would love to know more people who share our values and um, and yeah, yeah. that way. <laughs> because oh, we're gonna be growing up so uh we wish you a wonderful um year 2024 yep and yeah so i guess uh what's left uh where can people find us you can find us on uh you can find me on uh instagram pamela kazekare uh on twitter <laughs> and um and yeah mostly there Okay. And I have a website, skepticalleftist.com, and I'm skeptical lefty or skeptical leftist, pretty much all the social media sites. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>